what would be your advice is to start? So you already addressed that perhaps the first month you should stay in <coughs> the obscure zone, but then you need to, to, to reach some traffic on, on, sure. on your product, be known. So what would be your advice is about marketing? Well, I think that if you have a great product, I think it, it makes things a lot easier. And I think that, um, you know, I, I think that we're in an, in an era when um, it used to be, you go back 20, 30 years, you could, you know, great marketing could sort mm -hmm. of make up for a poor product. Um, and you could market your way to success. You could buy TV ads and clever marketing and some PR and things like that. And, and you could, you know, whatever the product was, a bad movie or something like that, you could, you could kind of paper over it and right. make it successful. I don't think you can do that really as easily anymore. Um, and certainly not with the kinds of funds that most startups are going to have. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, my recommendation would be to get, take the time, get the product right, um, feel really good about the product, and then start promoting it. And I think that, you know, to be honest, um, think of yourself as just a facilitator. Think of yourself as someone who makes it, your job is to sort of make it easy for your users and mm -hmm. consumers to get the word out there. Um, and, you know, hopefully that buzz will, will you know, be enough to kind of get you to that next stage. Um, you know, I, I think that depending on the kind of business, I think that, yeah, obviously getting some press is helpful. Um, and I, I think in, in that case, I think that it makes sense to just be um, a good sort of citizen of the online community and someone that's paying attention and, and um, you know, develop those relationships, uh, you know, respectfully and over time mm -hmm. and, uh, and not sort of, uh, you know, expecting that, like, you know, you just hire a PR person and you just go out there and you get on TechCrunch or whatever. Um, and uh, honestly, I think for most startups being on TechCrunch, or Mashable or whatever, I don't think is necessarily as important as it, as it might have been um, a few years ago. I think that um, you can see lots of startups that you know are building buzz organically and, and are uh, because of great product and because mm -hmm. people want to share it to others. Um, you know, one of the things that we did was we built a lot of great, you know, a lot of Twitter and Facebook integration into our site, mm -hmm. so that when you're building your list or when you're writing a review or answering a asking a question or whatever, you can share that out with your network. Um, you know, online, and that drives tons of traffic to the site. Um, you know, we do a weekly newsletter where it's just me writing about something that I care about each week, and um, you know, it's not, it's not, it's just me like as a person writing it to you know, not as it's not a not a people love it because it's not spam. Um, I don't, you don't have to click through to the site to read it. It's just more about me trying to contribute something, give something back. And when I talk about being a good online citizen, if you're out there participating and sharing and being generous. Um, you know, people are going to want to give that back, so to speak. And I think that, um, you know, when I would think about, you know, marketing, I would think about well, what do you have to, not what can people give you, but what can you give them? You know, what can you do to, to, to make, you know, to make this environment, this media environment that we live in a better place? And, and if that's contributing something smart once a week, like I try to, I try to make something smart, I'm not always smart, but I try, that's my goal, <laughs> is to say something smart in the newsletter each week. Um, you know, people appreciate that, and I think that it's good. You know, it's it's good sort of long term for us to 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 you know be out there in that way, and that to me is our marketing. We do events. I, um, I, I was just thinking when I was listening to you, it's a kind of uh, long term strategy in a certain way. It's not trying to get it just nope. like that. It's taking your time to refine your product, to build your community, to gather the feedback, and uh, all these kind of all these kind of stuff, and not trying to push too hard. If I Correct, yeah. you understand your point. It, it, exactly. And I think that um, whether it's a pro I mean, products take a long time. Only, I mean, look at Instagram. This is their second product, right? Their mm -hmm. first product failed. Um, and those guys went back and, and, you know, stepped back and said, what are we doing? Everything wrong. Let's do another thing. And then they took their time and built another product. And that was, a, I mean, that's a tough decision to make. Um, but, right. you know, but you got to respect it. Um, if you want people to be able to pay attention and, res and care about what you have to say, um, you know, it, it helps to, to, to be someone that's out there and active and, and, and doing things. If your product's still terrible, it's not going to make a difference. But, um, but, it, but it will at least help get people to pay attention in the first place. And so, you know, I, I look at like, you know, Jason Kelcanis doing his, his newsletter. Um, you know, people like, people tend to like what he says and, and respect it. And, and that's for him is marketing. You know, that, that's the same thing for us. It's like, you know, whether it's a newsletter or a blog or a video or whatever. Um, you know, I, I kind of my 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 advice is always to be like a good um, a good citizen, so to speak.